We're going to be applying the display grid, so the CSS grid, in order to create a basic template three column design with a navigation bar that's going to be fully responsive using the CSS grid. Gives you ability to create responsive page elements. So I'm going to be showing you how you can create a basic starter template that you can use for your websites to develop them out further as you add additional content and elements into them. So starting out with a basic, very basic layout, we're going to have a header, nav, main area, and a footer for the content. So this lesson we're going to be setting up the website design and the layout using the grid. It's going to be a three column website. So first off, let's select the main container and that's going to be the container main. I've already added in the box sizing. So this is going to be the parent that's going to be displayed the children, the immediate children with it as a grid format. So using the display and set it up as display grid. And then for the grid, we're going to set them up as one FR. 1FR and 1FR. So that right away set those columns in that type of structure. Let's update the columns. So selecting the elements with the columns and set up the grabbing the border, set up the width of them. And they're going to be set within the grid. So we want to make it dynamic. So we don't actually have to set the width, but we will set the height for those cells. And also I'll set the text align to center align the text content within them. So there's those four columns. And you can also shorten this by using the repeat. So if they're all going to be the same size, then we can use the repeat and setting up a repeat of four with one FR for each one of those. And actually this should be three because we do have the three columns there. We're also going to do this for the navigation. So we've got a element, the class of nav. So that's going to be the parent for the grid. And then the navigation items are going to be contained within there as a grid items. So setting up the grid and this one has going to have four items, four children within there. And we'll select the nav and the divs that are immediately within the nav. So the element with a class and then the divs. So these are going to be the links. We can text align, uh, also set up a background color, and I'll set up a background color of green for those. I'll update the font size to 1.2 EM, and we'll set a color of white for the links. And we'll add in the option whenever we hover over them that will update the color, so the pseudo, and we can set this, so setting this, and how about we set this to be black whenever they're hovered over. So there's our links. And the grid is going to be responsive by default. So that gives us the basic structure that we needed. And now we can apply some additional styling to the header as well as to the footer. And set up a background color for those. I'm going to set up just a default black background. And the color of the font can be white. Let's uh, select the font size. So make it really big. And then the text align. We'll center align the text for those. So that gives us our basic web page structure where we've got the header, the footer, and I'll also set the overflow for these. So that way they will go down all the way to the nav bar. Up the default spacing that's needed within the structure of the page. And then as you resize it and shrink it down, these are going to also be fully responsive page elements. So that's how you can use the grid in order to set up a default website template that you can use as a starting point for developing your web page.